Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Ang. We're going to do some math work together. And the skill we're going to be working on today is to solve problems using the commutative property or using a turnaround fact. We'll use a clothes hanger to represent and learn about it. So take a look at this clothes hanger here. How many clothes pins are in each group at the bottom? How many are in this group? Three? Good. How about over here? Two. Three in the one group and two in the other group. How many clothespins are in total? Did you say five? Good job. So now think about this. What equation can we write to match this representation? What addition fact could we write? Tell your home teacher. Did you say 3 plus 2 equals 5? Excellent. So we have a group of 3 over here. So we're going to say 3 first. Then we added together this group of 2 to come up with a total of 5. So there's our math fact. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Now look here. What has stayed the same about this representation of an addition fact? What do you notice that is the same? Tell your home teacher. Did you notice that the number in each group stayed the same? So here we have a group of three and we have a group of two, but they're in different positions, aren't they? So they've changed, they've flipped, or they've turned around this hanger. That's what has changed. Did you also say when I asked you what was the same, that it's the same total number of clothespins? Wow, did you notice that? That even though I flipped the hanger around, I still have the same total. I still have one, two, three, four, five total clothespins. So what equation could I use to represent this picture? What addition fact could I write? Tell your home teacher. Are you telling your home teacher 2 plus 3 equals 5? That's a little bit different than the one before because this is the turnaround fact. So our turnaround fact is we turned it around. We still have 5. We still have the same number in each group. They're just in a different order. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Good job. Let's try another one. Take a look at this representation of an addition fact. How many clothespins are in each group here? Count and tell your home teacher. Did you say 5 in the first group and 3 in the next group? Excellent. How many clothespins are in total? How many all together? Count and tell your home teacher. Did you get to eight? Awesome. Maybe you counted each one and said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or maybe you counted on and you said five, six, seven, eight, and you got to the total of eight. Beautiful. Now, how can we represent this in an equation. What addition fact could you write to represent this picture? Tell your home teacher. Did you say 5 plus 3 equals 8? Nice job. That's the math fact that represents this picture. So now, what has stayed the same about this representation? What do you notice that is the same? Did you say we have two groups? And did you say that we have five in one group and three in another group, just like we had on the slide before? Yes, that's true. Did you also say that we still have eight total clothespins? Yes, we still have eight altogether. Then what has changed? What is different? Tell your home teacher. 
Did you say the hanger has been turned around? Fantastic. That's the turnaround fact. Yes, yeah, so what equation could we write for this representation? How could we represent this picture in an addition sentence? What math fact could you use? Three plus five equals eight. Fantastic. That's the turnaround fact for the picture from before. Excellent job. Now we're gonna take a look at dominoes and try to do some turnaround facts with dominoes. And if you have any at home, you could get some out and try it after I finish teaching this lesson. So take a look at this first domino and what addition fact could we write for it? Tell your home teacher. Did you say five plus two equals seven? Fantastic, because this is a group of five and this is a group of two, and when we add it together, the total number of dots is seven. Five plus two equals seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, can you picture what the turnaround domino would look like? Were you thinking it would look like this? Good job, I turned it around. How are these two dominoes similar? Did you notice that they both have the same number of dots in their groups? So the groups are the same. The group of dots are the same. There's a group of five and there's a group of two, but they're different because it's been turned around or it's been flipped. What equation could you write for this domino. What addition fact? Did you say two plus five equals seven? You're right. That's a turnaround fact for this domino. Excellent job. So notice boys and girls, these are addition facts. These are called addition facts and they're also called turnaround facts because they have the same groups in the fact. So five plus two equals seven and two plus five equals seven. Great, your exit ticket today is gonna to have you practice these facts. Thanks for learning with me.